Russia's space chief has expressed his admiration for Elon Musk and extended an invitation to the SpaceX and Tesla CEO to visit him at his home in Russia. Relations between SpaceX's Elon Musk and Russia's space chief, Dmitry Rogozin, appear to be pivoting from sparring about trampolines to discussing an invitation for tea. Mr. Elon Musk realizes many of the ideas and thoughts that we wanted to realize, but did not get to because, after the breakup of the Soviet Union, our space program halted for some time. Roscosmos's Director General Dmitry Rogozin said in an interview with CNN, Will this partnership between Russia and Elon Musk be productive? Hello and welcome to Tesla Reeve. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell to get updated with technology trends. We bring you the video related to growing partnership between Russia and Elon Musk. So, stick till the end. The leader of Russia's space program is desperate to have Elon Musk visit him. On multiple occasions, Dmitry Rogozin has invited the founder of SpaceX to come to Kazakhstan for the October 5th launch of the Suez MS-19 spacecraft carrying three Russians to the International Space Station. More recently, during an interview on CNN, Rogozin gained a fair amount of publicity when he invited Musk to visit his home in Russia. We respect him as an organizer of the space industry and as an inventor who is not afraid to take risks. Rogozin said, Musk is welcome to be a guest of my family and discuss exploring the universe, extraterrestrial life, and how we can use space to preserve life on Earth. I already set the tea kettle on heat, he added. Since becoming the head of Roscosmos in 2018, Rogozin had had a passive-aggressive relationship with Musk. Rogozin has responded to SpaceX's success with bravado and bluster much of the time, saying the company's engineers are too gentle or their rockets and spacecraft are not safe enough for Russian cosmonauts to ride upon. At the same time, Rogozin has seen SpaceX largely destroy important revenue streams for Russia's space industry. Most notably, Crew Dragon has cut off the approximately $400 million NASA paid to Roscosmos every year for crew transport services to the International Space Station. Additionally, SpaceX lobbied for a congressional mandate preventing United Launch Alliance from buying RD-180 rocket engines from Russia. Finally, the low-cost Falcon 9 rocket has eroded the commercial launch business for the Russian Proton rocket, a former workhorse that now launches about once a year. So why play nice with Musk now? There are at least two good reasons. First, if Rogozin were to get Musk to actually visit him in Russia, he and the country's space program could bask in his reflective glory. Musk has a deep appreciation for Soviet rocketry. He recently spent an hour visiting with his grandson of Sergei Korolev at SpaceX's headquarters. Musk undoubtedly would say nice things about Russia's space program during such a visit. But meeting with Musk, Rogozin could project himself as an equal. This would be important propaganda for him and Russia's flogging space program. It's likely equally important to Rogozin, if not more so, to attract Musk to the upcoming Suez launch. This is because Rogozin and Roscosmos have staked a lot on this flight, which will be commanded by cosmonaut Anton Shkeplerov and carry two other passengers, Yulia Persilid and film director Klim Shapenko. The actress and director will spend about 10 days on board the International Space Station, shooting a film called The Challenge. Having Elon Musk at the launch of the Challenge Film Project would attract the glitz and attention Rogozin so deeply craves as he seeks to craft an image of the Russian space program that is more Hollywood than Putmakin Village. The Russian space chief also had praise for billionaire Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson, saying the space barons are spending their money on things that are useful for society. Our millionaires prefer to invest more in yachts rather than in spaceships. But maybe kids of current Russian millionaires will be much more wise creatures, Rogozin said to CNN. Yet, relations between the chief of Roscosmos and the founder of SpaceX have not been rosy in recent months. An Ars Technica report from December shared social media photos from Rogozin of Roscosmos engineers working in the rugged Yukata region of eastern Russia during winter, where temperatures were a reported minus 61 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 52 degrees Celsius. I wonder if gentle SpaceX is able to work in such conditions. Rogozin mused on social media and made reference to SpaceX's launch center for Starship operation in the far more balmy Boca Chica, Texas. Earlier in 2020, Musk had a snide remark of his own in the wake of his company successfully launching the first Americans to space from the U.S. soil since the end of the space shuttle program in 2011 under the NASA commercial crew program. The trampoline is working, Musk said in May 2020 of his company's Crew Dragon launch aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. 
The joke was a reference to a 2014 situation in which the United States imposed financial sanctions on several Russian officials, including Rogozin, in the wake of the Russians' internationally condemned invasion of Crimea. Rogozin's public rebuke in 2014 was this, After analyzing the sanctions against our space industry, I suggest that the USA to bring their astronauts to the International Space Station using trampolines, Rogozin said via Twitter at the time. Some U.S. space observers have also expressed concern about Russia's participation in the ISS after a newly arrived space station module, NUCA, accidentally tilted the ISS in July due to a thruster misfire, causing a spacecraft emergency. The ISS quickly recovered, and the crew was in no danger, NASA said at the time. James Oberg, a U.S. space journalist who frequently reports on Russia, subsequently wrote an op-ed in IEEE Spectrum in early August, asking for an independent investigation and adding he has concerns about NASA's safety culture. Around the same time, however, both Russia and NASA emphasized the partnership and safety measures remain strong between the two space agencies. Elon Musk also said that Tesla was close to establishing a presence in Russia and was looking at whether it could open a factory there. Elon Musk raised the prospect of Russian-made Tesla Incorporated cars, saying the company was considering opening a factory in the country as it looks to expand its production facilities globally. With each passing year, the number of electric cars sold in Russia is growing exponentially, but it is still too early to suggest the country is undergoing an EV revolution. Addressing an event in Russia via video link, Musk said the company already had production sites in China and the United States, but was looking at opening up production facilities in other parts of the world. The Russian Ministry of Industry and Trade invited Musk to Russia. Dear Elon Musk, we are delighted to learn that you are considering building a factory in Russia. By the way, we have a number of state support measures for local OEMs or original equipment manufacturers. Come to see us. We'll talk about it. Russian small private car maker Zeta is designing an electric car and plans to launch production this year. The auto industry in Russia, a global oil and gas exporter, has no successful electric car projects at present and analysts see slim prospects in the near future, primarily due to poor charging infrastructure. He became a bright antithesis to Russian capitalism, a guide on how you can get rich in the right way and how you can spend the money you earned in the right way, said Alexei Firasov, who founded the Platforma Sociological Research and Consulting Firm and wrote a report on Musk's mass popularity in Russia. The Russian environment could not produce this cult-like figure, Firasov added and it is an easy import because Musk is not associated with some Wall Street billionaire, he is not a Native American, and he engages with Russia, so he is not perceived as a stranger, and this image is important to a stratum of people who are in need of one. That said, this is it for today's video. So what is your take on this matter? Tell us in the comments. If you want to see our upcoming videos, ring the bell icon, and don't forget to like our video as well. That's all from my side. Thanks for watching.